Hey there everyone and welcome to WordPress series. In this video, we're gonna learn how we can install WordPress and that's it. Nothing more, nothing less and that's it. Now, I hope you have watched the previous videos in the continuation because it's really important that you learn how to install these servers like Apache, MySQL, PHP and stuff like that. So we're gonna learn how we can do that and let me just show you what you need. Uh, I have already told you that what we're gonna need in the previous video, but just for the formality sake of go to wordpress.org not wordpress.com go to wordpress.org and make sure to click on this download wordpress and then click on this blue button uh, it's a very small size file like 8 mb very tiny one and uh, we have already learned how we can install the xamp and everything uh, for these guys now just on to again a side note in case you haven't watched the video for the mac guys go ahead watch that and in case make sure that when you uh, hit this go to application uh, let me bring that up back again when you hit the php my admin you should be able to see this this is important in case you are facing some issues uh, go ahead watch the videos in that videos i have told you in the detail that how you can mount the volume and once you mount that click on the explore go to etc extra and open up this as uh, httpd slash zamp dash config and replace one very simple line of code which is at line number 20 usually uh, says require and says uh, make sure you edit that after required it says localhost but you change that to all and granted this is required and again after that make sure you do hit a reload a restart of the entire server process so that changes become active okay we're gonna keep that aside for a minute now make sure you have downloaded the zip file and I have downloaded a zip file. It's somewhere. Let me open that up. There we go. So when you will be extracting the file, this is what you are going to get. And we will be talking what this is all about, which are the important files, which are not so important files, should be deleted, and all these things uh, later up. Uh, but right now, these are the all things that you are going to require. The important folder is wp-admin. It has a lot of stuff, a lot of cool stuff, which we are going to explore, uh, obviously. And uh, that's all what you have. Now, how you can install the WordPress on any website is, let's explore that. And we're going to go to, okay, let's find the folder where that is. Uh, let's explore that. And inside that folder, you have to look for hdocs. And inside this folder, you can create a folder name, whatever you like to have. Now, I'm going to create a new folder for, uh, let's just say, LCO. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, what is LCO here, okay. Uh, and open this folder up. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy this entire content and we're going to uh, copy this and paste that inside this LCO. It's a very small copy and paste thing, should not be taking much longer in case my computer doesn't hang up there. I hope so. Okay, there we go. Finally has started. It's just a 23 MB, not a big deal. And since it has a lot of just files, files, and files, uh, the com completion is going to take a little bit while, not much. Uh, usually the bigger files are easy to move. The small, small files are a little bit, they take little time. Okay, so let's wait for a couple of seconds. I won't be fast forwarding this time because it's so, it's not much long. You get that. Okay, now let's launch up our application. Uh, go to application. I have gone through application quite a number of times. Okay. And uh, let's explore that in the full screen. I'm going to close all of the rest of the things. We don't require that. Now, what you have to do instead of the dashboard, you have to say whatever the folder name is it. In this case, it's LCO. So see, uh, it says you a couple of things. Uh, welcome to WordPress. And you will need to know the following items before going and proceeding. It requires you to proceed with a database name, a database user, database password, database host, and table prefix. I will come to on to that where you can edit that where you can find all of that. Uh, first of all, I'm going to say let's go. Okay. So in this case, the database name default one is WordPress. Don't recommend that to you go on with the defaults. But right now, let's just go with the defaults. And I'll tell you where are the places where you can actually edit these files. If you edit them right now, that's completely okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's just try to hit a submit. Now we are going to face a couple of errors, but we are going to deal them up. So let's just hit the submit and notice uh, the username password are correct. So we're going to try again. Okay. Now what is happening? And in case you haven't uh, edited anything like that, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to show you uh, the MySQL. So let's just go for the PHP my admin. There we go. 
Now, this PHP MyAdmin has a password to access and there are some username and password as well. For example, the user here is root at the rate localhost. So our user here is local uh, is root and it doesn't have any password unless you have set explicitly a password there. So it is requiring for that. Now also it is saying that you need to create a new uh, kind of a database here to work on with that. Don't worry if you have no idea at all. I'll explain that in a, in a second. But for example, let's just say uh, our username is actually root and we don't have any password. So we're going to delete that. And our database host is localhost. So that's completely fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit submit now again. And notice it's saying that we were able to connect to the database server this time. So means your username and password is OK this time. But we're not able to set any database. And why is it so? Because there was no database with the name of WordPress there. Okay, get that. Let's try again. Okay. Now, although the process of uh, installing the WordPress is uh, pretty fine, but I want you to understand each and every basics of why the things are happening. Okay. So let's just go ahead, click on to the new, and we're going to create a new database name. And we're going to call this as, uh, let's just call this as LCO Press. And you can write them in all short or in all cases. It's totally dependent on you. I'll prefer the lower cases. LCO Press, just like WordPress, LCO Press, it's a good name. And I'm going to copy this and I'm going to hit create. Whatever the things are, the default things are, uh, let's just be that and let's just create the database. I don't need to create any tables or any values or any field in inside that. Let's just go in the default. Okay, now finally coming on to this, this time, we're going to press that the database name is LCO Press. Our username is root. We don't have any password, so I'm going to delete that. Our host is localhost, and the table prefix is WP underscore. Now, I will come on to that. What is this table prefix? Right now, all of our information is now perfectly OK, and you have learned how to go with that. So notice why this uh, PHP My Admin is super helpful and why I told you all the things uh, beforehand so that you can reach to the PHP My Admin. Hit the submit this time and notice uh, it says, sorry, I can't write the, uh, write the WP config file and you have to manually create and act, add these information. So what is happening again? Uh, and after we have done that, you can hit the run install. Okay, okay, I can understand your frustration, but let me also try to explain what is happening. So now we're going to go into XAMPP. Okay, not this one, this guy. And we're going to go into our htdocs and where we have pasted all the files. Notice there are a couple of files here. Okay, and the important file here is it says wp-config-sample. Very, very important file. This file contains all the configuration information about your root, localhost, and all these things which we have been trying to hit uh, from the localhost environment and that graphical view. So what we're going to do is, first thing is, make sure you rename this file. In my case, I can just hit enter and rename on the windows, right click and rename. We're going to remove this sample here. Okay, hit the, that's the first rename being done. Now what we're going to do is, we are going to right click onto this and we are going to open that in any of your editor. I'm going to open that in sublime text. And there we go. Okay. Now in the sublime text, you can see there are a couple of information, database name, database user, password, host, character set, and collat. We don't need to worry much about it. What we're going to do is we're going to first of all paste the database name, uh, which is LCO press. What is our database user here? Our database user is root. Okay, done. What is our database password? We don't have a database password. Not a good practice, but let's just say we don't have a password right now. Our host is localhost. So we're going to save this right now. Now, finally, we are going to do and hit run install. Now you will notice that now the installation is done. It's almost done. It's just the formality that we have to do now. So what is the site title? Let me just go with the site title as LCO. Okay, the username, it's going to be the username from which you're going to be enrolling. I'm going to call this as Hitesh. Uh, you can use a little bit con a complex one there. I'm gonna, not going to be using a strong password because this is just a demonstration here. So I'm going to go with 1212 and AA just like that. So uh, confirm, I confirm I'm using a weak password because I don't want to create a lengthy password and always have to fill up that. 
Now, email address is going to be useful when you're going to forget your password and it's going to reset the password on that. I'm going to put up my email address there. Uh, everybody knows that, theishatidaishaji.com. And I don't want my, uh, you can just check mark it if you are just using it for the test site so the search engine doesn't uh, populate that onto their web pages. Totally on you. Now just hit on to make sure that you keep the eye on the username and the password uh, because we are going to be using that. So let's just install the WordPress and within a second uh, you are now done. And that's it. I know we have taken a lot of time in installation but these are things required. You should be understanding that. Now as soon as I hit the login, notice it's a URL, then it says LCO, then it says WP-login. Now there are a lot of debates uh, that you should remove this WP login or WP-admin. Uh, some people will say that, hey, these are completely okay because it, this is just a login like Facebook and uh, uh, as, soon, as long as you are using complex username and password, it's completely okay. Some people will say use some plugin and uh, move it to onto a different URL. Totally onto your choice. Uh, I usually move that and also use the strong password. So we're gonna choose that Hitesh and uh, that's my username and uh, the password that we are going to be using is 1212 hey, hey, I never used that password that week and let's just hit the login there we go finally we are done okay wordpress is done but how does our wordpress looks like when it's out there okay so let's just see and we're going to remove this wp admin and we're going to see how our website looks like this is our website looks like not bad just within a few seconds of install. Okay, so one last thing that I would like to recommend you is uh, open this wp-conpic file and you'll see a couple of auth keys and these things are there. So what you have to do is go to on this link, uh, this guy slash salt. And as soon as you install this WordPress, go to this salt guy and copy, copy all the things which are uh, mentioned here and just make sure you paste them exactly same here. Now every time uh, you're gonna be hitting a reload, there are new values being generated. And you will also notice we have been now logged out. Uh, if I hit a reload, it will automatically log you out. So this is an important process. We will learn more about how the securities and things and how we can change the table prefix and all these things later on for sure. But this is just a basic how you can install the WordPress. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we are gonna explore what are these files, what each file does means and how the plugins and themes, a lot of things are about to come. So that's it for this video and I'll surely catch you up in the next one. Mm -hmm.